Hi YouTube, it's Shaneli here. In this video, I'm going to be taking a Q&A or kind of something different actually. This is more of a challenge that I got from a, a viewer and subscriber um, via email. But before I jump into his comment, I want to just remind you guys of my Patreon page. It's linked in the description box below. You can pledge to give any amount that you have, um, but you can literally give a dollar a month if that's all you can find in your heart and in your budget to give. Um, I use all of those funds to help create content for this channel so I really appreciate that if you choose to pledge um, so here we go this comment is from a mr. Miguel I must be helpful my name is Miguel and I've been a fan of what you've been doing uh, being a first-generation college student from Dominican parents I can totally relate to all of your content oh, it's amazing can you make a video saying your top five books about personal finance that pretty much started the fire in your stomach about financial wealth and made you not look back ever since uh, what are those books I know your list is probably a lot longer but I challenge you Best Miguel. All right, Miguel, I will accept your challenge. So for those of you who've watched my Brown University workshop that I did at my alma mater, which I loved, um, you know that I love this book because I actually gave this book out to one of the students who came to the workshop. And this is uh, my number one book that I'm gonna list is uh, Susie Orman. And this is The Money Book for the Young, Fabulous, and Broke. I love this book because Susie, again, you know, you guys who've seen some of my previous videos know that I like Susie, uh, most of what she says, not everything, but most of it. And I like her energy because she just keeps it real. She's very, um, she's fresh. She just talks to you like how it is. And in this book, she specifically targets young people who are young, fabulous, and broke, right? She tells like, you're, you're broke, that's the reality. I've been there, done that. Let me tell you what you need to do. And it's very specific things. Like she talks about how to budget. She talks about what you need to start doing when you get your first job um, and how to use credit cards wisely and responsibly. So just like all of the things that, you know, a lot of young people feel stuck. Um, trying to figure out on their own. She includes, you know, really detailed um, and kind of like funny little ad libs about how to make decisions around that. So I think that's a really good book if you're fresh out of college or if you're a few years out. But if you've been out of college for a while and you don't really relate to the college lifestyle anymore, then I would say um, that you should read my number two book, which I posted recently on my Instagram. And this is Ramit Sethi's um, I Will Teach You To Be Rich. Uh, this book, I think, is a little bit funnier i would say than Susie's, just because i think for me is he's a funny guy like you know his family i think immigrated to the u.s and he worked really hard to be able to go to like stanford and so he he's a kind of self-made he really worked hard and he keeps it real he, he has no hair on his tongue to tell you how it is he's kind of like a tough love funny guy um and i really think that this book is great because uh, what he does in his book is kind of give you like very specific how to's so like Susie, she'll talk about what's important but Ramis like it's not about what's important, it's what you need to do. A, B, C, these three things need to happen, boom, 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 consecutively. So if you're reading a lot about personal finance and you kind of like know what's important but you don't know where to start, this is a great book because it will tell you what to do first, what to do next, and what to do last to set yourself up for success. So definitely recommend this book. Number three, I would say, is if you're even more removed from, you know, the young fabulous life right if you don't feel you know that you can relate to college lifestyle and you also feel like you know you're getting closer to your 30s or maybe you're in your 30s and you're thinking about the future a little bit more and you're not sure you know what types of decisions you want to be making or that you maybe you're not making the types of decisions you want to be making just yet so this book is called the millionaire next door and I've shared this book a lot with different people um, I did a podcast recently that I talked about this book in the podcast while we were uh, recording it because I think it just has so many good examples of different people who show what it's really like to, to make your own uh, million dollars, right? So a lot of people who are millionaires in this country, they just like inherited wealth. Like they just, their parents were millionaires, their grandparents were millionaires and just have had money, right? But there's a group of people in this country who did not come from a lot of money and still managed to build um, their millions on their own within one or two generations. And that is, that's not easy to do. So this book, it, it looks at the habits and, and, the, and the tips and strategies that these people share and kind of like, what are they doing and, and how are they thinking um, it, to be able to make, you know, to be able to do that, to, to save so much money. Um, and so, 
I think that the book is not as fun to read, so I'm gonna put that out there. If you'd like a funny voice or like just like somebody keeping it real like how it is, I would recommend books one and two. But for number three, I think the book is better for people who need a big picture idea of why making huge lifestyle changes is so important, especially if you didn't start when you were in your early 20s or in your teens. So definitely recommend this book. It has a lot of important uh, information, but it's not, it's not that fun to read. It's pretty dry. Um, I don't know, maybe get the podcast or something version of it, but it, it has a lot of good information. So I definitely recommend it. Um, and then number four, I would say I'm, I'm actually still in the middle of this book. So technically I'm cheating a little bit, but the first couple of chapters of this book were so good that I, I feel confident to put it on the list. So for number four, I have, why didn't they teach me this in school? And this book I think is just really good because it was, um, I think the author originally, he, the way he wrote the book was for his kids. And so it's it's like literally coming from his heart. Like he's trying to give a very personal um, story to his, to his children. He's like, this is what I learned. Like, this is what I want you to know so you don't make the same mistakes that I made. And coming from a parent, I know that that's really deep and meaningful. So the stuff that he says is so important. Like it really, really, really matters. And so I really like the way that um, the book just lays out the basics you know it's not too confusing it's not a lot of, of, of information it's very just basic but like the important principles so I definitely think this book is really good and it's easy to read I've just read the first couple chapters in just a couple days from downloading the PDF so I definitely recommend checking it out all right then my last book that I have here is just if any of those four books kind of sounded like you know oh I don't know if that's my style I just kind of want a guide like almost like a blog where I could just go and find, you know, specific topics that I want, then I would just say stick to the classic personal finance for dummies. Um, this book is kind of like, you know, a textbook. Like you can literally go to the table of contents and just look for the topic. If you're looking for taxes, if you're looking about, you know, budgeting, or if you're trying to find out about investing, you will find any and all information about these topics in this book. And it's very straightforward. It's pretty basic. So anybody can pick it up and read through a couple of pages of it and have a good understanding. Um, so yeah, that's the fifth book that I've picked for this challenge. Miguel, thank you so much for writing to me and for challenging me to do this because it was kind of hard. I feel like um, I don't know. I read a lot, but I haven't necessarily been thinking about which are the best books of the ones that I've read. So that was really fun to do. Um, so that's all I have for you guys in this, in this video. Um, if you have any comments for Miguel or for anybody else who wants to know what books are good, if you have suggestions that you want to share, put them in the comments below. Uh, if you want to write to me privately, you can do that at missbehelpful at gmail.com. Till next time, peace.